Okay, today guys we're going to be painting an Easton helmet. It's going to have an extended chin guard um, for a right-handed batter and we're going to make uh, an American flag theme and we're going to prep this helmet, remove the stickers and wipe it down with a degreaser and then scotch bright it to remove the shine. The stickers are basically just, you just peel them off. They're very easy to remove. Slide it off. Same thing with the Easton uh, sticker. Once you get it started, it'll usually peel right off. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get that started. I'm going to heat that up with a uh, hair dryer real quick, and then we'll peel that off. Once we got their stickers removed, we're just going to take uh, prep all wax and uh, grease remover. And we're going to wipe the helmet just to make sure we get all the sticky residue off. Now we're just going to take our Scotch Bright and buff the shine off like we've done. Uh, just basically all we're doing is removing the shine all the way around. Get down into little cracks. And we're just wiping down with the degreaser one more time. And that's, a, that's what you can see. We're going to set it on our head. And we're going to spray a light coat of adhesion promoter. And before I forget, we are going to install the extended chin guard. This is an extended chin guard made by the same uh, company as the helmet. Um, and we're going to install those. And these will go, the holes will line up just like this. Sometimes you can hand start it and that's fine too. And we are going to scuff this uh, chin guard up as well. Okay, now one thing I've done is just I went ahead and uh, scuffed that just like we did the helmet and sprayed a little coat of adhesion promoter and uh, we're ready to start. Now, the design, take blue painter's tape, a blue painter's tape, and I'm going to go ahead and just tape off where my crack or, or my um, inside of my crack is going to be where the flag portion is going to go. And we're going to use this tape for part of the blue and we're going to also use it for the stripes. And it's a very uh, easy design to do um, and it doesn't take a lot of time. Okay, so now you can see what I've done. I've just taken um, the blue painter's tape and we've outlined uh, where the flag portion is going to go. We're going to mask off. Uh, this particular section, I'm going to go ahead and put some more tape on the, op, uh, the top uh, to prevent any uh, overspray. And this is, I'm going to put another piece of tape across this line. This will be the blue section. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with the stars. Another thing you can do uh, is line up the tape and then fan the edges or bow the edges out. That will also prevent some of the overspray like this. Um, and that gives us another shield, uh, if you will. Uh, now, what we're going to do with the stars, since the helmet's white and we know that we're going to have white stars, we have got... Uh, this is the pack of stickers. You can get these uh, big uh, craft stores uh, can have these. There's different sizes, and you can do this a couple different ways if you want different size stars, which you know, I mean, that's, that's your option. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take uh, the stickers and we're going to apply some stars um, in where, where we want the stars and then we'll paint blue over that. Here you just, uh, we just put the stars down and try to line them up as best you can. Uh, this doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Um, I would have liked on this particular one, like to maybe have gotten it just a little bit um, better. But, um, you know, just put them on there and then we're just going to spray the blue color. And we're just going to take light coats of blue. Kind of staying straight on top.
Here, I'm going to take a hair dryer and I'll just kind of blow dry that a little bit and let it dry. Uh, and I'll show you how to fix it. If we have a little bit of underspray, uh, once we put that, um, uh, when we take the tape off, I'll show you how to fix some of that uh, that we may or may not have. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the stars off and then we'll spray a light coat of clear, or light coat of clear um, to set that blue to keep it because we're going to have to retape it again for the red and white stripes. Okay, so now we just took the tape off um, and kind of set this in a little bit and now there's some overspray that, you know, sometimes it's inevitable. Uh, you try to get the, the sides uh, taped down as much as possible, but sometimes there is some overspray. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take some white uh, and we're going to cover that back up a little bit. We're going to paint the Easton uh, as well and then we're going to tape off um, the um, stripes and then we'll leave these crack edges and then when we peel that back up, then we'll have the stripes of the... Of the uh, flag and that'll also go down into the um, chin guard as well so we're going to kind of paint white across these edges here where the overspray is and get that all filled in and basically just with white paint so now what we've done is just basically taped off uh, where the stripes are going to be Kind of left some um, tape around um, to prevent overspray. And now we're just going to spray in some red. And we'll work up in light coats as well. Now we'll we just remove the tape uh, and any overspray we'll address whenever we take it off. Now we'll come back in with that white over this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trace around the crack lines with black. Depending on where you uh, start, you can start from wherever. And we're going to lay in a rough reference right now and we'll come back in and define them. shadow around the whole outside and I'm going to come back in and make a little bit more of a shadow where the pieces hanging down 
I'll do that with more of a straight edge. Yeah, look at Highlight some of that white uh, up on some of the other parts, it'll make it pop a little bit more. And this, you're just kind of getting random cracks. Um, depth and pieces that are broken down a little bit um, as we go along around this and go ahead and kind of just keep detailing some of these cracks in here a little bit more. Now I'm just going to go highlight some of the um, sides of the of the cracks like on the top bottom side edges um, where light would hit I'm just kind of highlight a little bit in white it doesn't have to be on every single one of them Okay, 